Welcome all and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance Tainted Keeper win streak. Now, I could do a different character, which I probably should, but, you know, win streak is at minus six. Four of those were on the actual win streak. So, uh, might as well have to, I might have to get it back to a positive number, or at least to a zero, maybe, I don't know. Immediately broke my first rule, checking the item room. No go. Okay, I tried. I didn't know if the secret room would be there. I still think it might be there. Probably is, if anything. The moon card, that's nice. I mean, I use it right now. It was above. Okay. Now, I changed the position of my microphone a little bit. I don't know if it's actually going to do a whole lot. But it might. Health up pill, not going to do a whole lot for me. I would like to tears up. I mean, that's really all I need in this. Now, the Joker card can be very good if I can just... If I get a worthless boss item, then I might as well use it because I should have enough money to buy it. Or to buy anything... Probably, I mean, I might have 30 cents. I'll have 30 cents, for sure. I'll leave that coin there. Just in case it's a sacrifice room. You never know. Now, after this, actually, I'm going to be recording another... Ow. Another episode. Not of... Isaac, but of... I think it's Bioshock. The first one, Remastered. And the reason for that one is... I don't know why I'm pushing this one all the way. The reason for that one is... Well, there's a new channel called Backseat Gaming. I don't know if this is safe. Oh, it's not there. Rude. But in this, essentially it's going to be four people so far. There's obviously me. There is... Um... There's Ryan, or not Ryan, there's, well yeah, there's Ryan, but you don't know who these two people are, Ryan and Kyle, who you'll soon meet, most likely. I'm recording with Ryan after this, and then there's also Chris, who you've seen in the Roblox Mimic video, if you watched that, which I don't blame you if you didn't. This guy isn't... Okay, you know, this guy's just taking a beating. He's getting molly -womped. But there's the four of us for now. And we're just gonna be, uh, we're gonna be playing games, to say the least. And I'll let you, uh, judge for yourself. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'll let you judge for yourself. Or see for yourself how it works. Don't really want to go too in-depth explaining it. But let's just say, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never played Bioshock before. But that's really all I need to say. You'll see eventually. I don't know when the video is going to go out. It might even go out before this. Which I wouldn't be surprised. But, I mean, that's enough talking about that. There's going to be a lot more covering that. So I'll leave the link in the description, hopefully. If not, well then... Check my community tab? Maybe? <laughs> I have no clue. I'm so underprepared for everything that I'm doing. Is it... I refuse to believe that game. I mean, as I speak, I'm installing Bioshock right now. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, I'm also installing a few other games. Because I got the uh, Bioshock collection. So it's Bioshock, then Bioshock Remastered. I'm not installing the unremastered versions because I feel like there's no point in doing that. Like, I'm getting the remastered version. Like, that's essentially the main game, but better. So, I'm only re uh, installing the remastered version. And then there's also Bioshock 2 remastered, which I'm obviously installing as well. And then there's the infinite one, which I have played for maybe... I don't know, but I know it was years ago. 
Nice. I, I'm not mad about that. Bone pen. But yeah, I, I played that years ago. I mean, I got it because I bought in like an Xbox off someone for forty dollars. An Xbox three sixty, I should say. And it had it on there. I do still have it, so I could check to see how much progress I've made. But I know it, w <laughs> it really wasn't far. I mean, I love fortune cookie as an item, personally. But I, it's just not good as Tan Keeper. I don't know why I say personally. Obviously, it's personal. But I, and I also have a grand idea after a certain amount of episodes. I want to do a tier list of all the items as Tan Keeper. Because not a whole of... Not a whole lot of people actually do tier lists for Tandy Keeper. They do it in mind of like a normal run. They don't like include Azazel or anything else, and I'm not including Azazel. Or they normally, eh, it's normally inclusive of like, I guess you could say, The Lost, because The Lost, you know, people play him quite a lot. And I should say Tain and Lost as well. People play Tain and Lost a whole bunch, which I don't know why, but they still do. I don't know if they really streak them. Okay. I don't know how it works. But I just know they're they're good. They're a lot better than me. I could not do that. I'd already be dead. For sure. But then again, you also get Spectral and Flying. So I can't really compare the loss to this run. I need to figure out how to hurt myself real quick. I mean, that's how. Money. Gotta go in here. Black rune in there. I, I just decided to go in there in case there's something like a. Uh, I forgot I have to buy it anyways. In case there's something like um. I don't know, the pact. Then I could have grabbed it and then I could use the fool card. Which would have been pretty worth it. But now I have to go into the boss with one health. And I mean, there might be a secret room here. <laughs> I feel like that might have been worth it. That's a pretty lucky secret room. I'll be honest. Two nickels, golden penny. And then the rest, just normal pennies. 64 cents. That's a whole heck of a lot of damage. And I'm also at max health now. So, any problems I had before... that They don't exist anymore. This guy is getting absolutely shredded. Hide behind the poop real quick. I want that penny. No, oh, I don't think I got the penny. Honestly, that was a whole heck of a lot of money. 79 cents. I'll take special tears and... No, I don't need to spend money on that. I don't think there's anything else in the shop. No, because it was... Uh... You know, I don't remember what it was. It was something bad. I know that much. Now, the Ankh and the uh, Anti-Grab, I believe, showed that it was an XL floor, so I knew that was coming. And then, I, I don't remember the exact bosses. I think one was, like, Chimera or something, and the other was... I don't remember. I was more focused on Anti-Grab. Because, I mean, I like Anti-Grab. I mean, it's always, like, Great item. It's, a, it's an amazing item. It's an amazing tears up. I don't know if I would actually want it. And then there's also like the what if I could just get a planetarium? I'll take the Ankh. I didn't really want it. But at the worst, I guess, oh no. I can just. Okay. I can just respawn. It's not like it's bad in any way. Could fight the bosses now. I don't see a point not to. Luck Penny? Oh, rude. Yeah, this guy. I don't remember what he's called. 
And I'll take down one at a time so that way I can get the money if any spawns. There's no point to, you know, missing out on any money. You just gotta take it slow. Okay, well that wasn't slow enough apparently. Synth oil is huge damage. It actually outweighs the damage from pay to or not pay to win. From uh money equals power. By 0 0.42, so I gotta have 15 cents and then like 10 more cents still. And then not even be at that money. Or I could just take synth oil. Speed is huge. I'll take Abaddon. It's an amazing damage up. And I'll take the wooden spoon. And the reason why is because I believe there was a health uphill. So that's reason number one. And second off, there was, uh, I have the Ankh. If I didn't have the Ankh, I wouldn't have taken it. But now I have to play extremely careful because you still don't want to use your lives. So I don't want to turn into Blue Baby for as long as possible. Because I do just want to get a whole bunch of money. And I, the Keeper is pretty overpowered. Just because of the sheer amount of money he generates. I don't know why anyone would ever go into that room. I just saw my entire life flash in front of me. And I'm not going to even be risking grabbing any money. I'll grab that though. And I will grab this. So the longer I can go as Tandy Keeper, the better this will turn out. I th is there pins in this room? Kind of sucks I couldn't get the golden penny. Kind of have to think very hard. So I just need to last until I can find a HP up, which I will take. I do think it's worth it. A health up pill, which constitutes as a HP up. Or, uh, oh, you can touch these guys. I'm just scared of that rock, because I feel like that rock can touch me, even though it shouldn't be able to. Um, okay. Oh, I see. It's pro it was probably a health down. I just couldn't tell. Because I was keeper. I mean, it still would have been a health up. And with that, I mean, that's technically, well, the last of the uh, Tainted Keeper. Now it's a Blue Baby run. So I can use a bunch of unlocks for <laughs> Blue Baby. I have Dogma. Surprising. Oh yeah, I do have Tainted Blue Baby unlock. I mean, I could take this. If I do have one Soul Heart, it will give me a Soul Heart. So that's not bad. Okay, now listen here, game. I didn't want that much. I mean, also, Goathead... I mean, Goathead really isn't the best as Blue Baby. Because if you're only getting Soul Hearts, I mean... There's no real appeal... To taking... Oh, I forgot it was, uh... Yeah, I forgot it was this. Chrissy XL. There's no real appeal, because it just costs three soul hearts each, so if you don't have a whole lot of health... I don't know if I want to re-roll this run. It's... It's not bad. I mean, also I can now... Go into... Can now go into the curse room. Might as well... And I thought about that, I just went, yeah, probably should just use the, uh, or get hit there. So I can lose the soul hearts so that way, then I can actually take this. I just want to see. It won't hurt me. Huh, I thought it would. I just wanted to use, I just wanted to get hit so that way I would actually be able to get the health up from the pill. Because I knew that there was another on the floor. I mean, if you don't know health up pills are good, health down pills are bad, and 
if you get a health down pill and you only have one health, it won't kill you or give you a health up. So that's why. Squeezy is amazing here. Okay, so now there's certainly an appeal. But anyways, continuing on down. As you can see in Dreamcatcher, oh, the item is a dead bird, which I do not care for. So I'm just gonna plan on not taking it. I just love anti-graph, you can just send a bunch of, uh, you can just save up a bunch of shots and just do a whole heck of a lot of burst damage, just like right here. Just create an impenetrable wall. And if they follow you, you can just do this. Yeah, now you don't have to worry about anything. Like this guy, he's gonna chase me. Nope, guess what? You can't do that. You wanna chase me? Now you're dead. And you can just keep doing this. It's just, it's pretty good. I thought he was dead. I wanted to duplicate the uh, black heart. I tried, didn't work. Also, as you can see, if you do get. Okay, guys, stop. If you do get hurt, it will send all the tears flying. I, I disagree with that one game. I don't want dead birds, so I'll just skip it. So that way I might increase my planetarium chance. Well, not might, it will. I don't know why I went in here. <laughs> I didn't expect that to hit him. Now, since we were Tanny Keeper and we got a whole bunch of money, or not a whole bunch, but we got some money before we died, there is merit to go to the shop. You might see how the tiers are... Uh, look like they're coming out normally that's just because I'm tap firing that's not actually me firing this is actually me firing but I can still just tap it but I don't want to I use the crooked penny in here just because there's a few chests I want to see if I or a few ch items I should say I want to see if I could duplicate them now, these guys will steal your, uh, shots. It kind of sucks, but it's no big deal. Surprising. Create a barrier right here. Abaddon is kind of messing with it. Yay, something good. Eh, range, not bad. Let's see what's in here. Good amount of money. Now, there's a restock machine. Which I will use. I mean, there's only one more item room. Well, that's all for that shop, I guess. Well, not I guess I know. I took Fred's stew just because it's a good damage up for now. And if I can find rock bottom, then I'll probably maintain a little bit of the good damage up. And then I took the blanket just because extra precaution. And boss fight against war, which means I will be getting a... Meat cube or a ball of bandages. Ball of bandages. I mean, I'll take this, use the health up, then I'll just leave. And I think that's really all I care about. In the item room, there is Headless Baby. Ooh, mega chest. So if I get a bunch of keys, I'll definitely like to go into that. 
but there's no confirmation of how many I need. So I probably won't... Okay. Probably won't even try. Clear rune. Ooh. Clear rune Yera. So clear rune, if you don't know, it will duplicate the effect of any rune you are holding in. Yera will duplicate, well, everything in the room. So I can use clear rune to duplicate something like a chest or that pill, and then I'll get the second one. Pretty self-explanatory. I can do that to essentially anything except like items or item pedestals. Now, if like a chest has an item in it, it will have a chance to copy it. But item actual pedestals on the ground, like the crooked penny in the item room, no, it won't. So I'm hoping that this might lead to like my key out of here. Rude. Okay. Just wanted to check to see if there's any tinted rocks. I mean, I'll use it there just for a bunch of keys. Now you can see it did change the uh, charge time. Four is just a base charge. But now it's 12, so I have to go through 12 rooms before I can use another Yera. But I think that was worth it for three keys. No. No, it's not worth it. That was awful. Probably should have used it, or there was probably a better use for it. And seeing that, that only took three keys to open. But who cares? Now I have a bunch of keys. I mean, I could have duplicated the mega chest. Rude. Wouldn't have been angry at that. Headless Baby will give conjoined eventually, which I think is worth it now that, that we aren't the keeper. Headless Baby is what's giving the creep trail behind us, if you could not tell. Just want to see if there's any tinted rocks, but I will blow out the blue fires. I'll go in here since it's half price. And I could Yara the black card. I don't think that's worth it. Now, anti-grab is actually a really bad item. I just think it's fun. That's the only purpose I think it has. Is being fun. Now it does have some pretty cool synergies. I will say. But a lot of them people still don't like. I like anti-grab with essentially anything. And the reason why is because there is one challenge. That gives you magnetic tears. Which will draw stuff to it. Such as enemies. And I would just love to leave trails. And watch them follow. Now I died a whole lot in that challenge. It's not a good synergy. But it's still fun. Two of clubs, sure. Last shop. Don't need anything else in there. I think it's honestly just ready to uh, head to the mom fight. I mean, it's too late for boss rush, so there's no point in making or trying to rush this. Also, then. Okay. A free soul heart. Because you can't get red hearts as blue baby. He did not know. Yep, time to fight her. The, the breaking sound you heard was uh, holy mantle given to me by the blanket. So 
so I didn't actually take any damage yet. I think I did take damage after that, though. But, I mean, it's not like this is run is actually really good. Okay, hi. A little bit closer than I would like. Take the Polaroid. There's... Please, why not a soul heart? Cross space. Cross space? Cross space? I would love to take Brimstone, which I... Actually... It gives towards Leviathan transformation. I know Abaddon, which is this little circle here, gives Leviathan. So, and I know the Leviathan transformation will give you a soul heart or two. So I just need to know if Spirit of the Night gives you Leviathan. So I just need to know what will contribute, because I think it's only three that you need. Yeah, it's only three items. And let's see. Abaddon counts, Brimstone counts, and Spirit of the Night does count. So I this should be fine. He's done it. Also, in case you don't know. I was hoping for this. Another XL floor, honestly. But this is something I was thinking of when I was talking about anti-grav. Because this is one of the fun synergies. It's not good in the slightest. But that little circle, if they're in there, they will take constant ticks of damage. So even if they're still following you, still good. Can use the Angie's rune. Not bad. I'll use this pill. Luck down. That's, that's fine. Very delayed effect there. Still really good, I think. Because if you time it just correctly, well, then you're just going to be getting a whole heck of a lot of damage with the initial circle of anti-grab with brimstone. So, like, with these hands, I can time it when they come down, and you see it'll just completely destroy them. Great key. Need to find some soul hearts or something. Also, since I can fly, I can just do this. Free pill. Okay. That's not good. I don't like this room at all. I just need some soul hearts on the ground, which I will be willing to duplicate. There's not a whole lot else for me to duplicate, which I'm not finding anything. And going into a cathedral with hopefully one and a half hearts isn't the most uh, encouraging. Thank God for a blanket. Okay, one more soul heart. I guess that's fine. I'll just head in here, go right by here. Did I just... Rude. Alright, cool. There we go. Now I can just start blasting away. Best part is, it's still brimstone. So it's still amazing. There we go. Did, baby. I do need hush. Oh, whoops. How much time do I have? I have enough. 
And I can't take any of these. None of them are like the pact or the mark or anything that will actually give me any health. So it's not useful. There we go. No problem. Now, is this penny worth it? 0.4 da or 0 0.04 damage up, and I, I think I will fight Hush. <laughs> oh god. Don't worry about the floor transition there. I don't know why I'm going to there. I think I... Hmm. Metal plate does give a soul heart. There's again a very high chance of finding a uh, secret room in these, or a crawl space, I should say. Ooh. Compound fracture is huge. I actually don't know what it'll do. Oh, there goes my bomb. Come on. Game. Okay, well, nothing there. I'll open one more chest. Get a tears up. Ciao. What a great tears up there, game. Uh, I'll duplicate everything in the room. Not happy. Um. Now, I think I just have to use the Yera to gather four soul hearts. I don't think that might have been the smartest option, I'll be honest. Or, it's not the best use. That is, hands down, a guarantee. The best use is going to the chest and then duplicating all the chests. But, you know, what can you do? Nothing, apparently. I will take Bad Trip just because I think it turns into a full health, which I don't know if that actually does anything against Blue Baby, but... Hey, I'm just going to hope I don't have to find out. Oh, okay. Well, there goes my Holy Mantle effect, so now it's just... Six hits of damage, and then... I'm dead. So this isn't very good damage. Nah, that's that actually wasn't too bad. The best part is I don't actually have to worry about landing my tears. So I don't have to worry about momentum. Because after I already do it, or I do it means release a button. After I already do that, it's all set. The course, can't change it. That means I can do this, and then I can go down here. Then I won't have to worry about really any waste of damage. Now I did that so I can last, or land the initial pulses on Hush, which I don't know if it'll do any extra damage during the Brimstone actual shooting, but I know before it will do extra damage. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm not even fully releasing. I am barely releasing, and I didn't even know I could do this on my keyboard. Because, like, right there, it's just... That's a grain of sand I'm lifting. God, that's so insane. Okay, I was looking at my keyboard. <laughs> I wanted to see how much I was lifting my finger. It's... Okay. It's insanely tiny how much. If I had to show you... I would compare it to a grain of sand. I don't know. Did my voice just sound robotic there? Because when my voice came out, it sounded very, uh, not human-like. Okay. I don't like this. I do not like this. No, hush. Bad. Bad hush. Stop it. Why is the tears coming in from that way? It makes no sense. You make no sense. I hope you know that. Uh -huh. 
maybe Hush wasn't the right idea. Just maybe. But it didn't work out anyways. <laughs> but hey, at least I can say that Euro play was kind of right. Because I wouldn't have died without it. I mean, I still died without it, but... What else can you say? Not to turn out back on my mods. I mean, it's really only one I need. Where is it? I can't find it. That's good enough for me. It doesn't even work. That's sad. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And as always, I hope I see you next time. Bye.